hi guys welcome to my youtube channel or if this is your first time seeing my face i'm free to pin and if you're a returning subscriber thank you guys for coming back i am pretty pin and i do videos about nursing life in the uk chit chats everything you really need to know about the uk and how to come to the uk and things to do when you arrive in the uk in today's video i'll be talking about top nursing university interview questions i mean the kind of questions you are supposed to expect when you're going for your nursing interview in the uk whether you're doing the bsc program whether you're doing the msc program these questions are the basic nursing questions you're going to get when you're doing your interview and everybody who has gone through this route know how difficult this can be i mean the questions are simple but the answers the ones from you is something you know you might not be able to deliver at some point like we basically know all the answers but we don't deliver it the way they want us to deliver it so i'll be making this video to point out all the questions and how to tackle it so guys let's get right into today's video I will be listing some of the basic nursing interview questions you'll be expecting when you're going for your nursing interview. This video, most especially, is for January intake and those who are preparing for September 2023. I think you need to watch this video and get ready for your interview. One of the questions they will ask you is that is most, is, I think it's always the number one question you will definitely meet is why do you want to become a nurse or why do you choose to study nursing? So you have to tell them why you want to become a nurse or why you choose to become or why you choose to study nursing. You know, you can just tell them basically most people will be like, oh, because I love nursing, because I love caring about people. My dear, they've heard that countless of times. They've, they, they know because if you don't like caring about people, why would you want to, you know, apply? So basically, you need to keep your, your answer straightforward about you hit the nail you have to give them scenario that proves that you know you are really ready to you know you really want to study nursing you know you need to give a story that is very specific that narrows down to you you have to give a scenario a proper scenario i'm not going to be giving an example about all the questions if you want me to give like an answer to all the questions you guys will have to tell me in the comment section and then i'll make a different video for it so but just say something like this is like an example don't quote me it's, a, it's just an example maybe for example you've you've had maybe a family member that suffered for something and then you care for the person you know for a long period of time maybe your granny you cared for the person you did this you know so maybe the person died and you know it had like so much effect in your life and you know you want to keep saving life and all that just say something that that boils down to you that shows that you know you have that you know that zeal within you it's a very good tip on smashing your nursing interview so after they ask you why you want to study nursing so they'll have to now be specific why do you want to study adult nursing or why do you want to study mental health or why do you want to study child why do you want to study learning disability nursing but that's why i said before if they ask you those kind of questions you need to make it specific down to yourself it's very very important another thing you should bear in mind is that one of the questions they'll have they'll ask you has you know a link to your personal statement so any personal statement you submit to the school please go through the personal statement again it's very important like go through it don't just write this statement and just submit go through it because you know the, the person interviewing might have your personal statement in front of you and just say oh um please can you just give us a recap of your personal statements or can you just tell us you know how you were able to achieve this sort thing you said on your personal statement like just and when you just be looking like oh, oh because you you really just do not even remember so just go through your personal statements again and have that in mind and when you're going through your personal statement please read about you know the rules of nurse of nurses so when you know the rules of nurses you know how to you know to put to apply those rules you know create a scenario using yourself do you understand so when answering a question don't just give a direct answer create a scenario like how you're able to apply those things when, don't, don't tell them that oh i care i i care for patients hello is there anybody that doesn't care for patients everybody cares for patients just tell 
how you were able to deliver a particular care for a particular patient like oh i was able to do this you know i i i was an aca in the past and i went on a ward and i saw a patient you know a patient had a fall i had to you know beep the the sister in charge they came they check her hopes they make sure she's fine you know before they were able to you know um if the patient is, is using always they have to oyster you know make sure they check everything check ahead both for scan and all that you know you're able to see the, the patient recovery process all these things are things you need to say those things signifies that you you know you you showed care don't just say i i i, I care about i was care, i care about my patients why i was caring about patients it's just it's just a statement huh? even me too i care about patients you need to show how you've cared about patients it's very very important so apply those rules down to how to yourself be specific another thing you should get yourself familiarized with when preparing for nursing interview question or things that you're going to see things that questions they're going to ask you is about the cc's of nursing i'm very sure most of you know like every i'm is, is very is a popular thing when people are preparing for nursing interview they will always prepare for cc's of nursing i'll be putting the cc's capacity care compassion competence and all that but trust me they're not going to ask you to list all these things so when you're reading all these things don't just go and read and cram the cc's i'll be talking based on life experience like because i did like six nursing schools interview i'll be seven so some of them will just be like okay just pick one of the um cc's and just tell us how you've applied it so that's why i still i, I still keep talking about anything you're talking about just make sure you channel yourself to it like make yourself the scenario like any anything they ask you, they ask you, um, pick one C's. For example, you're talking about compassion, and you don't just come and say, "Oh, I I show lots of compassion to all my patient when I'm working with them. I make sure I'm very compassionate about them." No, 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 no. Don't don't even try it. If not, my dear, you're not even getting. You're not getting that place. You're not getting that particular place for that degree or for that course that year give a, a a very good scenario using yourself one day i was working in the surgical ward i came in blah 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 and i saw a patient you know she was you know she was traumatized you know she doesn't have an insight of what is happening to her you you give you and you just say story you you you, you might just say for confidentiality purpose you might not mention the patient's name you make them know that this thing is, is a real life story you know you're not fabricating it or you're not just saying a random thing i don't know sorry that i'm very serious but this is a very serious business so i want you to you know do those things because i want everybody who is applying for a place to study nursing to get that this thing because i'm very sure you know the interview it's it's a particular place where most people get kicked off especially when you're doing like the msc program is very very tough like because they, they they have limited slots so you need to do very very well another thing you should bear in mind is you should learn about empathy you should learn about evidence-based practice you should know about personal person-centered care slash holistic care this these four things they are very important I, I i don't mean you should go and learn go and cram the definition because all these things are just simple you, you, they're all straightforward what's empathy you know putting yourself in, in the patient's shoe you know how you're going to feel if you're the one that is a patient so how how have you showed empathy on a patient like how have you shown don't go and say oh i sometimes i put my no 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 give a scenario oh one day i was working with a dementia patient she just have an inside the way she was behaving i could you know i could feel you know i i, I felt bad you know i tried to communicate i noticed that you know verbal communication was not working properly and i noticed she doesn't really understand me i tried different you know techniques of communicating you know you have to show how you put yourself on that that person's shoe if you were the one how would you have do you understand you have to you know how you've applied person-centered care you know making the patients you know the center of his or our own care and all that all these things are very very important don't just go and learn definition show how you used yourself like use yourself as, as a scenario so learn about it is very important because trust me what university of manchester will ask you is not what um Kensington will ask you abby Kensington will ask you you know it's, it's just different but they all have the same that's why i'm giving lots of they all have one thing in common like the, some of them will ask you the same thing but in a different way so just make sure you use yourself as the center of everything they're asking you so one thing you should bear in mind is that they might show you a scenario of how you respond to criticism 
at place of work so you should be able to wrap your head around it how to respond to criticism you know when you hear people do this how you respond to it you know they'll, they'll give you a scenario so mo some of the um, interviews are basically most of them are scenarios some not all some of them are scenarios and you know, they'll tell you you know how will you act so i think i'll bring all this later towards the ending but just have in mind you know how to respond to criticism at place of work and all that another thing you should bear in mind is you should always know that they might ask you about your past and your current experience like if you've worked in the healthcare sector what have you done in the past and all that if you've not why did you decide to just move especially for people like us that have you know different background and you're moving and you're saying things you've done in the past and hello how are you just switching do you understand you have to give like a very concrete reason putting yourself as the center of everything you're doing and you know giving a proper good example like a proper scenario that befits you know what you're saying or what you want to study another thing you should bear in mind is that they will also ask you what do you think will be the most challenging part of you being a nursing student which has to do with your weaknesses and your strengths so you should always bear in mind those things don't just go and tell them your weaknesses or like I'm, 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 just uh, do you, you understand you package yourself properly like let your your strengths look like your weaknesses i don't understand i don't know that you get what i'm saying let me use a very good example you know, people people's weaknesses are mostly they'll be like, oh, they don't like working under pressure. But that should be your strength. Oh, I love working on ah, I love oh, give me work, give me under pressure, I will do it. You know, something like that. Just make it look you you're eager to you, you want this thing. So act like you want it for real. Don't I know sometimes we, we don't know how to express ourselves, but at this point you really need to put all your best, like show that yes, you want it by fire by force. Another thing you should bear in mind is that please go and read or keep to date things that are really happening in the nursing sector, like what's happening in the news about you know the NHS, the NMC, just have all those things in mind. They are very, very important. They're very, very important. Another thing you should have in mind again is why you chose to study in that university because definitely they must definitely ask you so go and read all those things read why you picked that university you need to know it is very very important and that thing you should have in mind that they're going to ask you is normally when they, when they achieve this kind of question is when they see that you are really doing well they will not ask you why do you think that they should give you an offer you know knowing that they have limited slots why should they give you why do you think you're the best student for this particular offer why 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 won't they give it to another student why do you think you're the best person so you have to defend yourself you have to say something that's why I'm, I'm saying all your example has to boil down to yours i remember my last interview seriously because i already know the tricks of all these things eh? my last interview i swear that ah i've done six interviews so hey it's not possible i already know the the the, the whole thing already so I, I i know what they want so by the time you ask me why do you think you should give me a place oh i've already give, i've given you lots of answers so i'll just be giving reference i said do you remember when i told you about this do you remember when i told you about this do you remember I, at the end of the day you see that everything you've said before just boiled down to why they should give you so you should know how to package your answer properly when you're giving you know you, you, you're saying your scenario so at the end of the day sometimes you don't need to repeat all those things again you just you just be giving references like do you remember when i talked about this you know i talked about having just give a definitely you've said the story now so do it's it to click so they'll ask you that kind of question like why do you think you're the best student and that thing is what by the time they give you the offer like what do you hope to achieve at the end where do you see yourself like where do you see yourself you know representing the school and all those things like where do you see yourself when you finish do you need a very good answer because definitely every school wants you to say something nice i don't know every school or every person interviewing you will want to hear something nice from you so you should be able to give a proper and a good answer so another thing i'll expect you to learn is you know the nmc code i don't think you should know all the code but just you know just know those basic proficiencies like professional values like prioritizing people practicing effectively pro promoting professionalism and trust all those um things you need to practice within you need to know those things because they might just ask you okay how have you practiced under this um professional values of the nmc 
don't just know the values know how you're going to practice on them because definitely when you become a student nurse you'll be doing your prof your your reflection some of your reflection will have to be based on you know if it's not based on the platform it will be based on these professional values so you need to know all those things they are very 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 important another thing you need to know is you just you need to know your basic math questions basically for um, bsc students you just ask them simple math question the msc you have to do some calculation in some schools some schools will ask you for for, for calculation basic calculation okay one milligram is to what and all that so you need to just know those things they are, just go and learn the basic things you know so you're able to convert it and you know just answer apart from the basic math question another thing i'm going to talk about is they are definitely going to, to give you lots of scenario based on decision making that's where they're going to test your iq you're going to test your common sense that's when you will know that common sense is not common there's no right or wrong answer but that's why i'll tell i was, that's why i call it decision making to give you scenarios and ask you what will you do if you, and this I, I i don't know i'll give you a particular scenario let me give you one that they told me you know a family a family has a dog and they went for a lifetime holiday i'm sure most of my friends that knows they know this particular story but this is the only one i i i remember they asked me lots of all my interview they used to ask me decision making you know something very strange that you have to use your you know common sense to answer of which that's what i know that almost common sense is not common no because you have to think and that's what you do when you become a nurse. You have to think before making decision because people's life depend on you. So you have to think. So they'll ask you things like your friend left their dog with you and they went for a lifetime holiday and immediately they, they, they travel, the dog died. What will you do? And they've not gotten to their holiday destination. Are you going to tell them or you just wait for them to finish their holiday? Because if you tell them, it will ruin their holiday. So you need to... You understand this it is a decision that is within yourself like within your jurisdiction you have to make that decision yourself so you're going to stick on decision making a lot that's why i put it at the last thing because i know that they're going to give you scenarios like two based on decision making so you need to they, and they, but they'll basically tell you that there's no right or wrong answer definitely there is no right or wrong answer but at the same time the right answer might lead to the wrong thing and the wrong answer might lead to the right thing so that's why it's not there's no right or wrong answer so you just have to use your common sense to just answer the question and what you would do. Most uni will ask you why do you why do you decide to do this, and some uni will just not say anything. It's okay. And lastly, finally, last thing you need to do or you need to prepare about is <laughs> at the end of every interview, always ask question. They will definitely ask you, do you have any question for me? Compliments. Even if you cannot compliment, just ask them for feedback. They might not give you all the feedback, you know. Some will just say, okay, yeah, you need to do this, you need to do this. But just ask. It helps you get better. It helps you prepare. Do you understand? So, you come to the end of this video. If you're preparing for your nursing interview question, if you're preparing for your nursing interview for January and for September next year, good luck. I wish you the best. Make sure you like my video, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share this video to lots of people that need it. Don't watch this video, don't just watch it and just keep it to yourself. Watch it and share it. Let's get this ministry to 1K. Let's get this ministry to 1K. Share it to your friends, your family. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I remain your baby girl, aka Pretty Pin, aka Baby Girl for Life. And I love you guys so much. Bye.